Hello friends, neighbors. John Newman's neighbor here. Welcome to Alanook. Welcome to Sunday. I know it doesn't look like sample Sunday because these are grown bottles, but I actually received these samples from Travis and so I haven't had them. Uh, this is just a tasting. So while it might look like I've been spending a lot of time with this Woody Creek, I haven't. I got two bourbons on deck. This is uh, Woody Creek. This is their straight bourbon uh, cast strength, batch six. And then I've got a Broken Barrel Cast Strength, uh, also a straight bourbon, but this one's got some staves uh, that are, are added at the end for some finishing flavors introduced after the New American Oak. So if you've got any uh, Colorado uh, whiskey or if you've got any, uh, I know this is bottled in Kentucky, I don't know where it comes from, but looks like we're going to have some bourbon. Wine your pour drab, come on back. Three, four. Thanks for staying with me. Uh, as I tried to say, it looks like I know this bottle well, but this is actually my first taste. This is from Woody Creek Distillers, uh, which I believe they're out of Colorado. Well, yes, it says Colorado right there. So they're definitely out of uh, Colorado. And um, David Matthews, I think, is the main or head distiller. And uh, beside, you know, using local grains, quality ingredients, uh, I do know the mash bill because it says right on there, which is nice. 70% corn, 15% rye, 15% uh, barley. But beyond that, I don't really know. On their site, I think it says a minimum of four years of aging, but I don't know if this goes longer. This is batch six, 59.5%. So let's see if that uh, Colorado Springs natural water and uh, quality ingredients, see how it comes out. We'll go nose and taste on this Woody Creek. Ah, you know, it's a great, it's great bourbon nose. You know, it's it's that sweet roundness of corn. There is a little bit of spicing in there, but it's got some nice toffees. Uh, it's it's inviting. I would say the nose tends a little sweeter, a little less fruit. There might be a little bit of uh, of some apple already in there. Not cherry yet. That might come as I sip. Yeah, and a little spice now that I've spent on it. Little little dusty uh, cinnamons, a bit of peppering. Yeah, now that I've said it, maybe there's a bit of sweetness of cherry in there. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Good bourbon. It's um, it's got a nice balance of, of that sweetness, and yet the you know a bit of spice and vanillas coming from some new oaks and. Then there's a little bit of peppering, not a ton. It's a bourbon. We're not in rye country here. Uh, but there is, you know, the, the spicing, you get a bit of heat from the alcohol, 59 or so percent. And then, um, yeah, there's a little bit of uh, some baking spices, some savoriness. The fruit is backed off again. Better try another sip. That sip had some nice um, creaminess to the caramel and a little bit of marshmallowing in that like roasted marshmallow in the sweet. It's got a bit more char or something going on. That sip was much more interesting than the first one, which is, you know, so often the case. The first sip, you kind of just say hello, and then you've got to kind of get to know it a bit. Really nice creamy caramels now. Creamness. That's why I was trying to get that, like, what is that sticky roasted sugars? I'm going with marshmallow and a creamy, a soft caramel. Finish that off with some solid oak. This one, um, from hello on all the way through, tended, tended to be more sweetness, caramel, roasted sugars, chars, a little bit of fruiting in the background, a little bit of apple, some sweet cherry, but it wasn't dominantly sweet. Oh, there's a little bit of nuttiness in there, maybe too. Maybe in the, oh, and it coats well. Definitely coats well. It's got that chewiness. I think that's probably what made me think of creaminess. So. Solid bourbon, great first thoughts. Of course, it's cast strength. You should try it uh, with a little bit of water and see where it goes. But that's a tasty, more savory, less fruity. It doesn't have a lot of dark fruit. I certainly wouldn't run into dark cherry or 
or roasted leather notes. I'm not really there. This is more uh, caramel, spice, creamy, uh, and not as much fruit. Good start. So another sample in bottle size I got from uh, Travis is this one. Broken Barrel Cast Strength. It's uh, 115 proof, so 57-ish. Um, anyways, uh, this one is sourced by this group, I believe. Uh, and, and I believe it's sourced, or at least it's bottled or put together in Kentucky. Aside from the proof, the whole Broken Barrel thing is to say, okay, we've aged out in some new oak. That's why we're a bourbon. But then we're going to try some different flavors. And what's also cool, just as this one has the, the mash bill on it, and this does have the mash bill on it as well, and it's higher rye. It's 70 corn and 21% rye and then 9% barley. But it has this, what they're calling oak bill. And the oak bill is 40% ex-bourbon, 40% new French oak, and 20% sherry. And when they say that, those are staves. They've taken these barrels wherever they got them from, and they busted them up or carefully extracted them, I don't know, and put them in a tank to do some, some finishing, some extraction of the flavors. Uh, so aged in new oak and then those staves. Well, I don't know, which is pretty pretty interesting, right? Staves, I, I, I think they reference it on their site or at least a site I was reading, uh, you know, Maker's Mark, very famous for, for putting in different staves at some point near the end of their process uh, with uh, Makers 46 and whatnot. So we'll see how those flavors from the staves affect this bourbon. It could be, it is straight, so it could, it's gotta be at least two years, but it could be pretty young. Let's try nose and palate. Broken Barrel, this is also their cast strength. Did I say it? Batch 10? <laughs> Let's see what it's like. So the nose, Quite different than the classic bourbon from Woody Creek. Ah, uh, yeah, this coming back. That nut has evolved. Um, someone else wrote this. It's in my mind, but it's got a little bit of that peanut riddle sweetness. Sponge toffee, sponge toffee. Just nice sponge toffee I bought at the candy store in Banff. This has some chocolate, some fig some dark cherry which could be coming from the ex sherry yeah definitely a leathered raisined fig uh it's got quite a few notes that i don't find here has to be from those staves straight on the palate cheers there's a lot of the flavors in here are related to that oak bill is that what they call it okay something like that oak bill yeah oak bill um because it has raisins and sultanas and leathered fruits, um, spice, spicier for sure. Of course, it's higher rye, so there's there's some even some peppering in there too. But it is it is oakier in the sense of all the different oaks. A little more nut, um, not sweet nut or calm like that peanut cream nut. This is uh, walnut. Um, it's got that mustier musk like. I get with sherry actually um and some nuttiness that i get nuttiness from french oak i don't know why i get a i get a uh um well, someone else called it like an all spice like an all spice uh note probably from the french oak and a significant amount of ex-sherry in this this is tasty for sure but not classic bourbon so if you're looking to expand your palate right you like Classic bourbon, and this Woody Creek is just, a, I think, a fine, kind of creamy expression, a little less fruit. This is different. Spicier, pepperier, and then some fruits that you're just not going to get from uh, virgin oak and a nice solid bourbon mash bill. This absolutely is coming from ex-sherry and some new French oak. Interesting expression. Uh, th this is my first taste. Uh, even though it looks like I've had the bottle for a while, I haven't. Thank you, uh, Travis, for getting these to me. I really appreciate uh, supporting the channel and also just helping me understand what's out there on the shelves. Um, while this is unique, and I do actually really like right now kind of ex sherried scotches, of these two, this Woody Creek is kind of singing my tune. I'm kind of 
coming at it right now looking for a little more classic bourbon and that is this but if you want all those other fruits and flavors and stuff broken barrels pretty cool way to go thanks for joining me here if you've had either why don't you share some thoughts they sure don't have to agree with me because it's always just my palate and what i'm drinking and what i'm sharing right now but i love to hear your comments thanks for joining me hope you have a great week